Hey, I'm at ACI. I'm here with Doug from Passer. How are you, Doug? Hello. Welcome to ACI and Thank you. We are in, what city are we in? We're in Tampa, Florida. Do you ever lose track like I do? Nah, not this year. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Tampa, Florida. It's beautiful and hot and sauna-y and all the things that Florida is. Um, it's a great show. We love the annual conference and we get to talk to people about what is new and exciting. And I know that I really want to know what is going on with Passer and Ariva. Great, thanks very much. Well, we're very excited. Uh, Passer Ariva is here. Uh, it's essentially our complete redesign and relaunch of the Passer platform, uh, essentially bringing all of our solutions and technologies uh, onto a new seamless platform. Uh, think of a single pane of glass for airports to get all the information they need uh, to make real-time decisions and to collaborate with their stakeholders. So we're very excited. Okay, that's how long has it been out? We've actually just uh, had our press release earlier this week. Uh, we've been working with a number of partner airports and airlines uh, on their feedback and concepts for design to bring this to life, but the actual launch happened uh, just officially this week with the press release. So this has been something that's been coming and you've been working on it, it's something that people have wanted and requested. It is, it's essentially, it is. It's, it's a culmination of uh, feedback and input from airports and airlines over the last couple of years, and uh, as well as sort of our strategic vision for the roadmap ahead for passengers, so we're very excited. And one thing we've written about in Airport Improvement Magazine is the Regional Diversion Manager, and I think that's a fascinating piece of technology. Tell me more about that. What are you doing with that now? Regional Diversion Manager is uh, a great program around airport uh, collaborative decision making. That's essentially what its uh, foundation is. It allows airports uh, to work together with uh, airports, both diversion airports and uh, reliever airports, uh, as well as work with the commercial airlines. Uh, to better distribute uh, and manage uh, effective operations during uh, disruptive events like storms and irregular operations. Uh, as you know, we wrote a feature story with AIP uh, on Dallas-Fort Worth. Right, uh, and that's a big storm center. I didn't know that before we talked about that. One of the largest convective and uh, diversion areas in the United States, in fact, in North America. Uh, that's been uh, in place since uh, the summer of 2018. Uh, and now we have the same program that actually just launched uh, in Toronto with Toronto and the 15 reliever airports there. It essentially um, keeps airports informed of what they can expect during irregular operations, uh, gives great situational awareness, uh, and also allows the airlines uh, and the FAA to make good decisions about uh, route planning during storms. And I know that what we learned during the interviewing process and during writing the article, how important it is to figure out who's available when you need to divert you need to know who's going to have the resources to be able to do that effectively. That's and right. And treat the customers the way they need to treat the customers. That's true. And what we learned uh, in the Dallas example was that in the year before we implemented regional diversion management, uh, about 50 to 60 percent of all the diversions in the North Texas region went to just four of the 22 reliever airports. Uh, and what we're seeing now is a much more even spread distribution of those flights. That's fantastic. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Kristen. Appreciate it.